Okay, so I've done some deals, or I've got some bids on the table for five players now, including the centre-back Gomez that I showed you earlier. And I'll show you these in progress. Obviously there's Gomez, there's a left-back, a good left-back, 20 years old, a decent defensive midfielder 21 years old um a left midfielder 22 years old and a support striker 21 years old i'll just show you some of the deals that we're doing so that you get the hang of what we've done or what i've done and there you go at the top there these are opening bids so this is nothing finalized but this is the best that i could do um since we've got a bid down for a support striker, we don't need Zalstin. He's reached his peak hours and he can be traded. Um, and when you're trading players, you can put a player down to be traded, but sometimes in the valuation count, they'll only be worth 1,000. So you have to make sure that the player that you're trading is one that you don't want and one that is going to bring the value of the transfer fee down. In this case, for this player, Zalstein really brought the transfer fee down. Um, we could put in the opening bid, which, were, as you see there, is 924000 Um The salary has been adjusted, and again, um, he's going to be playing regular, so I don't want to add an appearance bonus onto this player. That's the best deal that we could get in the opening bid. Uh, this player, I didn't have players really to trade. Um, so we're going to try and negotiate the best deal that we can. The opening bid's 1.4 million and the salary is the cheapest that we could get it in the opening bid. For the left-hand side, I felt we really needed a left-hand side player um, because um, I don't believe in the default squad that there are people of the quality um, that this man gives would give. And again, there's a, a player to be traded, which is a goalkeeper. And since there are two more in the squad, and I'd like to bring in my own go young goalkeepers, I believe I've got the talent to develop. Um, I decided that we'd trade this player, and this player, again, brought the value down uh, quite a chunk. So I know that it's not going to be uh, a player that is going to be off off our books just for a £1,000 on the transfer fee balance. Um, it is a better figure that comes off the transfer fee, so worth trading. Again, the salary. Um, and on this player, I've added a goal bonus because that brings the salary down and he is likely to chip in with a few goals so that makes sense our support striker is relatively easy to get um, and that's the one thing i'll show you in a minute about the players and how easy they are to get and what that does for the price but we have a player to trade i'm not going to be using i can't even pronounce his name Akubjerg. Yeah. Akadudi. Um and that fee transfer fee comes down quite a chunk as well where if he's added. Um salary again I've added a goal bonus and I don't want an appearance bonus because I want this player to play regularly. He's got decent qualities for a support striker and as you see he's only twenty one. So availability and there we have it. Already, without scouting, uh, there's a couple of spaces missing on these and three spaces missing on that, only two are blue. And that means that when you actually go into the bid, they are relatively easy to sign and that helps the price become cheaper. So we will be able to afford these deals and we want to be selling players as well. So I'll just forward the time and see how these go.
I won't be showing you the training match. Um, I'll just walk you through the negotiation process. Make use of your scout. We've already done that. Youth team. The youth team. There is a player in the youth team that I really do like. He's called Phil Tazzino. He's a left back. And I don't sign youth players straight away at the beginning of the season. I wait till we get to January. And that way you pay half of the um, wage fee and you've got six months then to negotiate a cheaper deal at the start of the new season. So I like to bring youth players in January into the squad. So Gomez, I want him to be my captain. We want this deal to go through. But we're not going to accept the first bid. We're not going to do that. We're going to go for the cheaper deals. So we're going to adjust the terms. Similar fashion to the first one. Try and find it where they're unhappy. And then get it to the point where you're saving every last pound for your club. And I do it like this. might take a bit but it's worth it because it means that then you can really stretch your resources to get the players around that are going to be the best for your playthrough so that's that deal that's the cheapest that we can do right there Negotiation, adjust the terms. Now that big smiley face means they've seen Zalstein and that is going to take a significant chunk off the fee. And that is why it's important to make sure that the player that you're trading is going to be good for the transfer. It's going to take a chunk off that fee because you can get players for 10,000, 9,000 you can if you trade the players that the other club is going to be happy with. That's come down to 340,000 there. That That's really going to help out. And now we'll go for the wage. And it's settled at that. So we'll move on to the next transfer. There's a figure for the fee that for the second bid. These will be negotiated further. I'm just going to try lowering that a pound and see. Or a thousand. No, it's, it, it needs its spot on the button, doesn't it, of seven? And for the left winger, and again a big smiley face there, that means that the goalkeeper's added value to, to our bid, and we can take quite a significant chunk off this. Um, these are looking good deals at the minute for us, for my team, and hopefully you're getting tips as to how to stretch your coin. Uh, and do the best for your club as well. Okay, and that seems alright. And then we go in for the last player on my little list to get. And there you go, big smiley face again. Their club really wants that player that we don't, that I don't. And this is really coming down, this fee, into 90, 80, we've got lower, lower, 
There you go, 10,000. That's going to be one of the ones I was talking about, that you can get players for 9,000. Really, you can. So it's just a case of lowering the, the salary as much as we can. And I'll tell you what, Maklashov is a very good player. I've used him. I've got a playthrough with the team. Uh, it's the worst team in the PEU league, and I renamed it Ridge County. And I start off with like 2 million odd quid. And I've got Maklashov in there, and he's just a star. He's a good player to have. So those are my deals. And I shall go and do my training match um, with my squad. And uh, I'll get these deals done, and I'll catch up with you on the, the first. And then, <laughs> this is the guy I want to bid for. This is ironic because he's come up straight away and I can't make a bid because I've got five players in. But this is Reyes centre-back, 22 years old. He can play defensive midfield. He's a long ball expert. He's got more height than a few of my players and he will be in my squad at some point. <laughs> Mark my words, that's the guy I want. But uh, yeah, I'll um, get this training match done and I shall catch up with you later.